A number of Netflix shows have become so revered that they're managed to acquire a 100% scores on Rotten Tomatoes. And we've taken all the legwork out for you and gone ahead and compiled a list of these shows so you can add them to your binge list. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're talking about Netflix shows with a 100% Rotten Tomato rating you need to watch. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. First up, what are some of these beloved shows? Let's take a look. With its third and final season underway, Narcos Mexico is proving to be one of the greatest Netflix series in the streaming platform's history. Narcos Mexico is only part of the Narcos franchise and is considered by many insiders to be the best Netflix series available for you to binge right now. Like other hit Netflix series such as Squid Game, Narco Mexico will undoubtedly go down as one of the best series ever. Fans are hooked. And fans aren't the only ones in love with the series, critics are as well. The new season comes after three successful seasons of of the original narco show which is set in colombia the birthplace of cartels in the violent underbelly of the cocaine smuggling trade the series has rightfully earned a perfect 100 critic score on the popular content rating site rotten tomatoes there's an old saying that critics and film aficionados like to use and it's that every story can essentially be boiled down to two things the first is often a character going on a journey second is a stranger comes to town for six years the narcos franchise however has created a ratings powerhouse for Netflix. At the end of the day, for Netflix executives, ratings, of course, are paramount, and at its course, Narcos Mexico is a dark, gritty, violent story that shows how unlimited power often leads to the corruption of man. Next up, okay, so you know that Narcos Mexico is a hot show, but why? You're about to find out. Honestly, there's so much going on in this show that isn't difficult to know where to start, but the first glaring thing that pops out and is easy to notice are the villains of the series, and most of the characters of the series can be classified as villains or bad guys. As we mentioned, the series is about as dark as you can get, which makes sense considering the dark nature of the show's subject matter. In real life, the level of carnage and brutality that exists within the narco world is almost difficult to put into words. And in Narcos, it can be hard to separate the good guys from the bad because, well, in a sense, they're all bad. Across Mexico and parts of South America, a war over the illicit, multi-billion dollar drug industry rages on and has been for decades, with no end in sight. The characters in Narcos are essentially soldiers on opposite sides of a brutal and at times grotesque conflict. But it's thanks to some seriously amazing writing that the characters in Narcos are fully fleshed out and brought to life. And it's because of these rich, well-developed characters that fans can't get enough of Narcos. The writing puts the series in an exclusive and elite class of shows that has breached the 100% score threshold on Rotten Tomatoes. Up next, is South Korea becoming the reigning king and future of Netflix streaming content? Well, let's have a look. South Korea's Squid Game and Hellbound initially started out at 100%, but have since slipped a few percentage points. These are absolutely incredible shows that are not to be underestimated. If you're looking for new shows that are addictive and totally binge-worthy, then strongly consider these shows. If you don't speak Korean, you'll have to contend with a few subtitles, but don't let that discourage you from checking them out because I can guarantee you that binging these shows, you'll be left speechless and mind blown. When it comes to scaring the bejesus out of people, South Korean filmmakers are master craftsmen, and of course, master crafts women. And not just in the realm of TV, but in the realm of film as well. For those of you who don't know, Hellbound tells the story of people who hear predictions on when they will die. When that time comes, a death angel appears in front of them and kills them. And in case you still haven't heard, Squid Game tells the story of hundreds of cash-strapped players accepting a strange invitation to compete in children's games. Inside a tempting prize awaits with deadly high risk. A survival game that has a whopping 40 5.6 billion won prize at stake. Stay tuned, don't go away because we're bringing you the hottest Netflix show with 100% scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Trust us, you don't want to miss this scorching list. And at the end of the video, we'll give you our number one top pick for most binge-worthy Netflix show. Next up, aside from live action shows, are there any animated shows that have been breached the elite 100% class? Oh, you bet. We're talking about the hot new animated series Arcane, which is taking 
taking the world by storm. Fans are literally addicted to this hit series. There's so much praise about this series from Rotten Tomatoes reviews that it's hard to keep them straight, but one review in particular stands out among the rest. It's a raving review about Arcane from Time Magazine. The review says, what really elevates the show's solid storytelling is its transcendent animation. Characters' faces register every flicker of emotion. So when we heard that the show was renewed for a second season and is currently in production, we weren't the least bit surprised. Ella Purnell will reprise her role as Jinx, Haley Steinfeld is coming back as V, and Katie Long is set to come back as Caitlin. Some folks aren't really interested in animated stuff, but if you go into Arcane with an open mind, you'll be pleasantly surprised. The story of Arcane is set in a utopian world known as Piltover, in the oppressed underground region of Zaun. The story follows the origins of two iconic league champions and the power that will tell them apart. Also, the series currently has a rating of 9.2 out of 10 on the Internet Movie Database, and that's from over 100,000 votes. Up next, what are some of the other binge-worthy Netflix shows that have hit rotten scores of 100%? Let's take a look. The hit Netflix series Giri Haji tells the story of a detective from Tokyo who scours London for his missing brother, who's been involved with a Yakuza and accused of murder. Critics have called Giri Haji a near-perfect crime thriller, and it was created by Netflix and BBC Two. The series can best be described as smart and suspenseful, with a perfect dash of humor. Giri Haji stands for Duty Shame and is set in the cities of Tokyo and London. In this thrilling show, you'll follow detective Kenzo Mori, who tries to uncover the truth about what happened to his brother. Mori believes that his deceased brother Yoto could still be alive and is wanted for the murder of a Yukoza member. If you're familiar with crime shows and routinely watch them, you'll probably notice one glaring difference between those and Giri Haji. It's better. Another show that everyone's talking about is Master of None. Critics have described the series as beautiful and heartwarming and say that it's a very relatable to anyone who's ever struggled or faced huge obstacles before making it to the top. Master of None stars comic Aziz Ansari and writer Alan Yang. The show is loosely based on Ansari's real-life experiences. The lead character, Dev, is a New York-based actor who struggles to understand what he wants in both his personal and professional life. The show also features Ansari's mother and father, Fatima and Shakuf, who play the real-life roles of their own characters, which is really cool. The comedy focuses on modern societal issues, and if you haven't watched it yet, tell your friends. Tell your mom, dad, your Uncle Bob, because you're all missing out on one of the hottest shows on Netflix. So finally, what is our number one top pick from Rotten's elite 100% club that you just have to binge? You're about to find out. Our number one pick is the ever-popular hit Netflix series, Shit's Creek, season six. Critics are calling the show witty, warm, humorous, heartbreaking, and so much more. Shit's Creek final season is a picture-perfect ending for the Roses in the town that ultimately changed their lives. Shit's Creek won a jaw-dropping total of, get this, nine Emmys, and it's probably the most successful Canadian television series of all time. Not to mention, Shit's Creek won not one, but two Golden Globe Awards for Best Comedy Series and Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Comedy Series. Shit's Creek tells the story of a billionaire couple and their two kids who suddenly go bankrupt and are only left with a small town named Shit's Creek. The show is simple yet potent. It was created by Dan Levy and his father Eugene Levy. Shit's Creek stars Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara, Dan Levy, Annie Murphy, and many others. Folks, if you haven't seen this show yet, do yourself as a favor and start binging from season one. You won't be sorry, and you'll be truly happy that we tipped you off to this unique, one-of-a-kind series. That's a wrap for today's video, Netflix bingers. Be sure to show some love, hit us with a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, you'll miss out on a ton of great bits. Peace, love, and happy holidays.